In a remarkable medical breakthrough, Chinese scientists have made headlines by successfully curing a patient's diabetes using an innovative cell therapy. This pioneering treatment, developed by a collaborative team from Shanghai Changzheng Hospital, the Center for Excellence in Molecular Cell Science under the Chinese Academy of Sciences, and Renji Hospital, represents a significant leap forward in the battle against one of the world's most pervasive chronic diseases. This landmark achievement was detailed in a study published in the journal Cell Discovery on April 30, marking a new dawn in diabetes treatment. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. The journey of this groundbreaking therapy began with a patient who underwent a cell transplant in July 2021. Within a mere 11 weeks, this patient no longer required external insulin, a remarkable outcome that underscored the potential of this innovative approach. Over the following year, he gradually reduced and ultimately stopped taking oral medications for blood sugar control. The lead researcher, Yin, stated with pride, follow-up examinations showed that the patient's pancreatic islet function was effectively restored. Today, the patient has been insulin-free for 33 months, a testament to the enduring success of this treatment. Diabetes, as many are aware, is a chronic condition that affects the body's ability to convert food into energy, leading to severe complications if not properly managed. Traditional treatments involve a regimen of insulin injections and constant monitoring, which can be burdensome and invasive for patients. This new cell therapy, however, offers a promising alternative that leverages the body's own regenerative capabilities, an emerging field known as regenerative medicine. The innovative approach employed by the Chinese scientists involves programming the patient's peripheral blood mononuclear cells, transforming them into seed cells that can recreate pancreatic islet tissue in an artificial environment. This method effectively restores the patient's ability to produce insulin naturally, thereby eliminating the need for external insulin administration. As Yin stated, our technology has matured and it has pushed boundaries in the field of regenerative medicine for the treatment of diabetes. The implications of this breakthrough are profound, particularly for China, which has the highest number of diabetes patients globally. According to the International Diabetes Federation, approximately 140 million people in China suffer from diabetes, with 40 million relying on lifelong insulin injections. This new cell therapy could significantly reduce this burden, offering a potential cure rather than a mere treatment. Timothy Kiefer, a professor at the University of British Columbia, praised the study, saying, I think this study represents an important advance in the field of cell therapy for diabetes. Kiefer emphasized that if this cell therapy approach proves effective in larger studies, it could revolutionize diabetes management, freeing patients from the burden of chronic medications, improving health and quality of life, and reducing health care expenditures. The story of this medical milestone is not just about scientific achievement. It's about the potential to transform lives. Imagine a world where diabetes patients no longer have to endure the daily rigors of insulin injections and constant blood sugar monitoring. This therapy offers a glimpse into that future where the body's own cells can be harnessed to heal and regenerate, restoring normal function and bringing hope to millions. While the results of this initial case are incredibly promising, it's important to acknowledge that further studies involving more patients are necessary to validate these findings. The scientific community is cautiously optimistic, recognizing the need for larger-scale trials to ensure the efficacy and safety of this therapy. However, the success of this initial case provides a strong foundation for future research and development. Let's take a moment to delve deeper into the science behind this breakthrough. Peripheral blood mononuclear cells, or PBMCs, are a type of blood cell that plays a crucial role in the immune system. These cells include lymphocytes, such as T-cells, B-cells, and NK-cells, and monocytes, which can differentiate into various cell types. 
By programming these PBMCs to become seed cells, scientists can effectively recreate pancreatic islet tissue in an artificial environment, enabling the body to produce insulin naturally. This approach is a prime example of regenerative medicine, a field that seeks to repair or replace damaged tissues and organs through the body's own healing processes. Regenerative medicine holds immense potential for treating a wide range of diseases, and this breakthrough in diabetes treatment is a shining example of its possibilities. The patient who received this cell therapy is living proof of its potential. His journey from a life dependent on insulin injections to one of insulin independence is nothing short of miraculous. For 33 months, he has been free from the daily demands of diabetes management, his pancreatic islet function restored, and his quality of life significantly improved. His story is a beacon of hope for millions of diabetes patients worldwide, offering a glimpse into a future where the disease can be effectively cured. As we consider the broader implications of this breakthrough, it's important to recognize the impact it could have on global healthcare systems. Diabetes is a major health burden worldwide, affecting millions and straining healthcare resources. In China alone, the cost of managing diabetes is staggering, with millions of patients requiring lifelong insulin therapy and constant medical monitoring. This new cell therapy could dramatically reduce these costs, providing a more sustainable and effective solution. Moreover, the success of this therapy highlights the importance of continued investment in scientific research and innovation. Breakthroughs like this are the result of years of dedicated research, collaboration, and perseverance. They remind us of the incredible potential of science to transform lives and address some of the most pressing health challenges of our time. Looking to the future, the next steps for this research involve conducting larger-scale clinical trials to validate the findings and ensure the therapy's safety and efficacy across a broader patient population. These trials will be crucial in determining whether this cell therapy can be widely adopted as a standard treatment for diabetes. If successful, they could pave the way for regulatory approval and widespread implementation, bringing this life-changing therapy to patients around the world. It's also worth noting the potential for this approach to be adapted and applied to other chronic conditions. The principles of regenerative medicine and cell therapy hold promise for a wide range of diseases, from autoimmune disorders to neurodegenerative diseases. The success of this diabetes treatment could inspire new avenues of research and innovation, leading to breakthroughs in other areas of medicine. In conclusion, the successful treatment of diabetes using cell therapy by Chinese scientists marks a significant milestone in the field of regenerative medicine. This groundbreaking approach offers hope to millions of diabetes patients worldwide, providing a potential cure rather than just a treatment. While further research is needed to validate these findings, the success of this initial case is a testament to the power of scientific innovation and the potential of regenerative medicine to transform lives. As we look to the future, the possibilities are boundless. This breakthrough not only offers a new way forward for diabetes treatment, but also opens the door to new research and innovations in the field of regenerative medicine. It serves as a reminder of the importance of continued investment in science and the incredible impact that such investments can have on global health. For now, the story of this patient's journey from dependence on insulin to insulin independence is a beacon of hope, illuminating the path towards a future where diabetes can be effectively cured and the burden of this chronic disease can be lifted from millions of shoulders.